Hi everyone, this is a short video on vocal belting. So what is belting? Belting is a vocal technique which produces big, powerful, loud vocal sound. You can hear vocal belting in all different musical styles such as musical theatre, pop, rock and jazz, just to name a few. However, not all singers like to or can belt. It is just a tool in musical expression. The etymology or root meaning of the word belt comes from the Latin word baltius, meaning belt or girdle. So you probably know that a belt holds up your pants, but a girdle is a piece of material that encircles the waist to give a slimmer appearance. I couldn't find much information on why the term belt is used to describe this musical technique, but I did think about the phenomena of belting and it is a full body experience. This technique requires a lot of abdominal work, along with open ribs and lungs which are filled with air. So why do singers use belt? Belting is typically used at a climax in the song to grab the audience's attention. Some songs you may notice even have belt right at the beginning of the song to hook the audience into listening to the full song. Singers like to use belt to show emotion and feeling within a song. So what is physically happening when we belt? When a singer uses belt, there is an increase in subglottal pressure beneath the vocal folds, along with low transglottal airflow. This means that there is a low ratio of times that the glottis, or space between the vocal folds, closes each cycle of vibration. Researchers use the phonation quotient to estimate this transglottal airflow, and they observe an increase in the closed quotient every time the participant belts. This closed quotient means that the vocal folds remain closed proportionately longer each cycle of vibration. So to recap, belting is high pressure, but with low airflow. A vocalist must inhale very deeply, allowing to the ribs to expand and the lungs to fill. Belting is a controlled experience, and a vocalist must be diligent and patient as they master this challenging technique. Many students, teachers, and scholars have asked, is belting healthy? My answer is yes and no. Belting can greatly assist a musical performance and give it power and wonder. However, there's many things that a vocalist must consider when using vocal belt. Number one, belting is a full body experience and you should feel a lot of your muscles, particularly underneath the throat, working to produce the sound. Belting requires a great deal of energy and without this energy source, the belt will be dull, flat, and can even damage the voice. Number two, breath. A singer must take a substantial breath before phonation. Without a conscious and efficient breath, the note will not be able to be sustained in a healthy manner. A belt requires a full breath. Number three, neck tension. Unfortunately, it is very common to see singers when they are belting to constrict their muscles. This typically indicates that there is too much working up here and not enough breath and support down below. Again, you need to think about the breath and sustaining the breath with the abdominals. Number four, overuse. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to hear an entire song be belted, or at least not a full album. Singing for long periods of time in a belt not only will strain your voice, but it will also probably bore your audience. A great singer can sing both loud and quiet and create a diverse performance. When used incorrectly, belting can be very similar to yelling and can strain the voice even with small amounts of use. So if you intend to belt or practice your belt, make sure you use it in small increments. And number five, repertoire. Be keenly aware of the expectations you set on your voice. It is okay to have goals as long as they're within reason. Take care of your vocal instrument and I highly suggest you work with a music professional who can help you with your belting journey. You only get one voice and it is precious, so take care of it because you want to be able to sing and speak for your whole lifetime. In the description below, I have included some examples of belters, but please add your favorite belters to the comments below and let me know if you have any other thoughts on the subject of belting. And until then, happy singing. Bye bye.
Are you passionate about singing? If the answer is yes, then be sure to subscribe to the Happy Singing channel where I try to make singer stuff super simple. Every month, new videos are launched focusing on singing and its devices. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on information which could help you become a better singer.